Good evening, fellow collectors. August 20th, 2009, and let's do another video tonight. You know, I wasn't planning on doing this many videos, but every time I look on the auction sites, all I see are more and more and more forgeries. And the forgeries are getting worse. And as of tonight, I have never seen as many sellers as there are now selling forgeries. People are coming out of the woodwork, and you know what I call them? I call them copycat bad sellers. You know why? Because they see other people doing it, so they do the same thing. And like I mentioned in my previous two or three videos, buyers are 50% of the problem. Most of them don't know anything about autographs. They're idiots. They're stupid. They're moronic. You know, I get criticized a lot for picking on buyers. But most of these people, if not all of them, have no business buying autographs. They believe everything they see. They believe everything they read. They're impressed by an eBay ID. They're impressed by a COA with a lot of nice graphics. And they say, well, I'm glad I got this autograph of my favorite player. If that's your favorite player, then you should know his autograph. Because most of you people are buying forgeries and you're helping to keep these forgers and the sellers of forgeries in business. You people are half the problem. So I hope the sellers and I hope the buyers are watching my videos. Because both of you deserve equal blame in this problem in the industry. And like I've always said, between 80 and 90 percent of all the autographs out there are forgeries. The vintage stuff is the worst. Over 90 percent of the vintage stuff are forgeries. And you know, you buyers are just as guilty as the sellers. Because you buy this crap and you keep in business. I'm going to show you some really, really bad stuff tonight. Now, let's check out, well, there's a bunch of item numbers, but let's check out this item number, 180-375-885-693 from seller Penny35 underscore 2008. She has, or he has, four of these up for auction right now, I believe. Four. This seller has already sold three of these. What moronic idiot buyers are buying this stuff? These buyers don't have any common sense. They look at the auction site, and at this particular auction, and they see five of these up there, and they don't ask the question of, well, where did this seller get all of these autographs from? First of all, they're forgeries. These are Albert Pujols forgeries. That particular item number that I just mentioned, some moronic buyer spent $52.99 on this. Another buyer of item number 180-376-499052 spent $47.13 on one of these piece of garbage Alba Pujols forgeries and another buyer item number 180-378-340612 spent $30.75 on one of these Alba Pujols forgeries from seller Penny35 underscore 2008 and if you look at any of these item numbers, you'll see just how ugly these Albert Pujols forgeries are. And this particular seller knows exactly what they're doing. They know they're selling forgeries. No excuses, no hiding behind some stupid excuse like I bought it from somebody else. They know exactly what they're selling in exchange for money. Forgeries. Now, now this, this one here, you got to read the uh, auction description. It's item number 260-464-018982. This piece of crap of a Derek Jeter forgery sold for $127.50 from seller Tampa Authentics, Inc. Now, I guess to the normal eye, this may almost look authentic. But whoever forged this autograph was so intent on trying to get the loops right that they forgot the other letters of Derek Jeter's name. Zero feedback. New seller? Yeah, right. I bet they're a seller that was already on eBay and probably got booted or whatever, and they're back again. But this, what moronic buyer spent $127.50 on this really bad Derek Jeter forgery with some of the letters of Derek's autograph missing? I, I know I'm laughing, but this is pretty serious. You know, for that kind of money, you could have bought a, probably one or two Derek Jeter card-issued autographs certified by Upper Deck or FLIR. Instead they chose the 20, there were 20 bids on this particular piece of crap from Tampa Authentics Inc. Now, 
Item number 150366681388. As bad as I believe GAI is, I cannot believe that GAI authenticated this Derek Jeter autograph on a 1993 Topps card. Or it could be a reprint. Whatever it is, Derek never signed like that. And you would think GAI would know better than that. This is horrible. That is not Derek's order. He never signed like that in any time of his life. And it's unbelievable that, uh, that they authenticated this thing. From item, uh, it's item number 150-366-681-388 from seller Cardboard Pimping. Now, I'm going to show you two other items from this particular seller. Here's one of his A-Rods that he sold. Item number 150-35999. 3958. First of all, it's an Alex Rodriguez forgery. All right. Number two, he somehow, or him or somebody else, they numbered the card up to, a, I think it's numbered to 1150. Well, you know, Alex Rodriguez had autograph cards from Classic back then that were numbered to 4300. One was numbered to, I think, 2100. But this particular card, because he didn't sign like that back in 1993-94 when he did those classic cards, somebody numbered these, misrepresenting the autograph and the card. This sold for $56. And from the same seller, let's check this one out here, the same seller, item number 160-349-747-233. From the same seller, Cardboard Pimping. This one numbered to 150. First of all, all classic autograph cards back then were all numbered on the front. I have a couple of those cards from Alex Rodriguez, and he did not sign like that back. Never, as a matter of fact, he's never signed like that. These are two identical autographs forged by the same person, and people bid on this stuff. In other words, they didn't do their homework. They didn't do their homework. Uh... And here's another one from a different seller, Karen Sue Crafts. A really, really bad Apple Pool Host forgery, item number 300-339-732-984. Piece of crap sold for $17.76. And from the same seller, a Derek Jeter autograph card of forgery that sold for $26.01. Item number 300-339-733-030. Sold for twenty-six dollars, and we're going to show you next. This was uh, this forgery of Jorge Posada was uh, forged by the same person who did the previous Derek Jeter I just showed you. Item number three zero zero three three nine seven three three one zero eight. Sold for six dollars and fifty-nine cents. What a piece of crap this is! Just horrible. And one more from that same seller. This is a really, really bad uh, Alex Rodriguez forgery. I think it's very active right now. Item number 300-340-281-003. An Alex Rodriguez forgery from that same seller, Karen Sue Crafts. And two more quick items here because I want to give these uh, sellers all the recognition they deserve. And I'm hoping some of you people will go out there and uh, let these people know that they are getting free advertising. This is supposed to be a Derek Jeter autograph on a baseball. It's a forgery. Item number 170-374-269-900 from seller I Love St. Bernard's. A really, really bad Derek Jeter forgery. And finally, I found this piece of crap because this is just horrible. Here's a guy who tried to emulate how Derek autographed back in 1992. It's, it's, just, it's just horrible. And that's why it's only up there with a buy it and have $100. Item number 290-341-611109 from seller Mantle2574. And like I said, he tried to, or somebody did, tried to emulate Derek's early autographs from 1992, like when he signed his uh, Little Son cards back in that, that period. But uh, if you look that real close, it's shaky and it's, uh, it's just horrible and awful. And like I've always said, if any of you buyers who bought some of this stuff are watching this video, you guys have the problem. You all bought yourself a forgery, especially those Apple Pool Host ones. Why would you want to spend 50 bucks when for like 30 bucks more you can get another Apple Pool Host card issued autograph or the guy that spent $127?
on that Derek Jeter forgery. 